Hey everyone, Pastor Andrew here. Um, as I mentioned yesterday, we didn't get our Bible story time recorded on Wednesday like we usually do, but I wanted to make sure that we got it posted for this week. The story, as usual, is from the Spark Story Bible, and we're going to be reading the passage that was read at worship this past Sunday about the giving of the Holy Spirit at Pentecost. So from the Spark Story Bible, by permission of Spark House, this is the Holy Spirit. Jesus' disciples were celebrating a festival called Pentecost when suddenly a strong wind blew through the house. Everyone's hair lifted up and there was an amazing noise. They looked at each other. It looked like each disciple had a flame of fire touching him, but no one was burned. The Holy Spirit had come just as Jesus had promised. The disciples began to speak in different languages, languages they'd never learned. Stranger yet, they could understand each other. Peter stood up. I want to tell you about Jesus. He reminded everyone what Jesus taught them. He told them how Jesus died and lives again. It's time for us to begin a new life with God's Spirit guiding us, Peter said. The disciples were excited to live differently guided by God's Spirit. This was the very beginning of the Christian church. I've never really been a part of anything like that. The only thing I can think of is when I took a trip across the ocean when I was in seminary, the school I went to to become a pastor, and I went to a place called Geneva in Switzerland. When I was there, I got to worship in a congregation where people spoke all kinds of different languages. It wasn't exactly like the Pentecost story I just read, because I couldn't necessarily understand everything that everyone was saying. But it reminded me that the church is way bigger than just our little congregation in Falls City. It's way bigger than just the American church. There are all kinds of different ways that people worship God, and that was all made possible by the Holy Spirit being given to the church on Pentecost. I hope as you think about your faith, and you think about what it means to be a follower of Jesus, you remember that the church is so much bigger than we ever imagined that it is. That it includes people from every nation who speak every kind of language. The church is huge, and we belong to that amazing body together because of the love of Jesus and the power of the Holy Spirit. I hope that you are doing well, and I look forward to seeing you in church again soon. You guys take care. And we'll see you soon. Bye.